everybody, this is Jolyn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to our home here in Mesa, Arizona. So I am here for the weekend and my grandma will be staying back and I wanted to do a collective Arizona haul featuring all of the thrift finds that I found today. If you guys are interested in watching the Hangout With Me thrifting episode, it will be on my vlog channel as well as yesterday's uh, thrift adventure. So I did one yesterday and I filmed another one for today. Yesterday we hit up seven locations and all seven locations I was able to find something but today out of four we went to which was one in Gilbert and three in Chandler. We found something at each location except for the last location but I don't mind because yesterday we hit up all seven and found something in each location which was really fun. Apparently Arizona has a lot of thrift shops which is really fun for me Especially I was able to bring my grandma along which she likes to thrift as well So if you guys enjoy thrift haul videos, let me know down below and without further ado Let's go ahead and talk about everything that I got so the first part I want to talk about is the planters that I get so I always like to look for a reasonable price Otherwise, I know I can just hold off and wait and find them brand new but if you guys are familiar with my channel or been with me for a while, then you are pretty much well aware that I have been finding these popcorn thrifted planters. These are crate and barrel planters. And the funny thing is, was a couple months ago, I found two of them. I don't know what location I did find them at, but uh, yesterday I found an additional two and then followed up with this one today. It's so strange how that works out where I keep bumping into these popcorn planters in different thrift shops in different cities. So I don't have this size. So including yesterday's two small ones and the two small ones that I have already in my collection in my patio, housing my sense of areas, I think I'm just gonna have the sense of area collection be all housed in this crate and barrel popcorn planter. And I will go ahead and drill a hole through this one as well as the other two that I got yesterday. But I thought it was so funny how that works out. And I did splurge a little on this. It was priced for $6. Now, is it worth $6? I'm not too sure. But the fact that it's big and white and it has that popcorn theme that I've been coming across thrifting, I just couldn't pass up not walking out with this. So I got this planter. And then the second planter that I got is this guy. And I don't know why I got it. I just love it a lot. It gives me like pottery vibes. And this does not fit my aesthetic in my collection, but I'm probably gonna give this as a gift um, because I'm always gifting people plants. And I think this is really nice. Or it could even go into my bedroom and house a plant in my bedroom in Las Vegas because in Las Vegas, I have a little bit more loose uh, aesthetic for my planters in that city. So this was priced for $6. Yes, it is kind of expensive, for um, the amount of money that I spend on planters in my city. But considering we're in Arizona, this is considered really inexpensive. Nothing's wrong with this planter. There is no hole in here. I do love the size of the planter, so we'll see what ends up happening to this. It'll live on my potting bench, and I don't think I can bring this back with me tomorrow on the airplane because I have my carry-on, and I'm taking all of the cactus cuttings back with me. So this will stay back and either come back with me the next time I'm here in two weeks or when my mom drives out here she'll just take all of my thrift backs including all of the baskets that I got for the basket wall so this was priced for six dollars and I really like this a lot and that's like a really once in a blue moon kind of thing where I pick up a planter that's not even for me um, I don't know I just I was gravitated towards so that we're gonna move along to the basket section and I love me a good basket wall so it was really fun for my grandma and I to go ahead and thrift for different baskets for the basket wall and yesterday I think we picked up I want to say 16 baskets so for today I picked up one two three four five five different baskets and I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you what I got and I'm always looking for different sizes textures and if there's any kind of designs or spacing in between the weave I love those types of baskets so here's the first one here I got this for uh, two dollars for two baskets so a dollar each and I just love the weave of this and the oval shape and the dark color of the the wicker so I got a set of two and obviously I didn't need to but because it came in a bundle of two I just said why not I'll just space them out when it comes to placing them on the basket wall so here's the next one this is a little splurge and this was priced for two dollars but I like the different dimensions and colors of this basket and the little handle so this was kind of a splurge ideally I would have wanted to spend 50 cents or a dollar on this 
there is so much noise. Apparently, like Mesa is really close to the airport or something, or the traffic of the airplanes. I apologize on all of the extra background noise. So moving along to the last two baskets, I got this one here, and this was priced for 99 cents. So I got this guy here, and I just love the different dimension of the weaves, and again, a lighter wicker, so I like the different contrast of that. And then moving along to the last guy here, and this was priced for $4. So this was a little bit more expensive, but I didn't mind splurging $4 on this because of the beautiful weaving and just the dimension of this. Now I know there was one different basket in here that was 50% off. I want to say it was this one was priced for a dollar. So I got this for a dollar. It was 50 off. So I know one of these baskets were half off. I want to say it was this one. So I ended up getting this for a dollar. So um, yeah, that was pretty cool. But that's going to wrap up today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My grandma and I did a lot of thrifting over the weekend in Arizona. And apparently Arizona is all about thrift shops here, which is really fun. That is going to wrap up today's Collective Arizona Thrift Haul. We got a bunch of planters, a bunch of baskets. And that's kind of one thing that I love doing whenever I am thrifting in different cities. If you guys enjoyed these types of videos, let me know down in the comments below. Definitely hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Please Please consider subscribing. I do a lot of plant related videos apparently on my main channel but it's something that I am very passionate about and as well as thrifting. You can find more on my blog at ilojewelin.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Mesa, Arizona and the beautiful prickly pear. Bye guys!